Hi, we're taking a look at the fan pages for businesses, and we're currently looking at the Paw Dogs page. I'm going to just walk you through a few of the most important things on the new timeline fan pages that will help you make the most of these, and we'll show you a few little tricks to see some of the information, some of the posts that uh, you may not be able to find right now. So uh, to start out with, uh, let me just tell you one thing that's different about these than the way our page was previously set up. Previously, whenever you came to the Paw Dogs online community page on Facebook, you would by default see the posts from everyone. So you would see a mix of posts that uh, any one member of the public came and posted on our page along with the posts from Paw Dogs, and you would see those chronologically in a list. Now when you come to the timeline page, you're going to by default see posts that Facebook calls highlighted posts, which mainly consists of posts by Paw Dogs. It's also going to have some posts from your friends put in there, but you're not going to see those posts by everyone in general the way that you did in the past. So to work around that, uh, there are a couple things I want to show you here. First of all, there's this little section that says recent posts by others where there's a little bit of a um, small list here where you can see the posts other people have made. You can click on those, but instead of taking you directly to the post, it brings this kind of pop-up, pop-over window where you see them in a list like this, kind of the way it shows photos. Uh, I don't really find this a very convenient way to interact with the post. So I'm going to show you another thing that you can do to pull up the post by everyone else. If you look here below photos, uh, there's this little thing that says highlights with an arrow on it. It's kind of hidden and blends out the background. That's actually a menu that you can click onto. And so I just clicked there and then you have several options here. You can choose highlights, friend activity, post by page, post by others. Um, and like I said, the highlights is the default. And I'm going to jump down to click on post by others to show you how you see the post that everyone else has made to the page. So I click that. And now we're looking at posts that other people have made to our page here. And this is showing us only the posts that other people have made. So... As I scroll down, this is just like, this is just all the posts you would, as you would have seen in the past that everyone has posted to our timeline, similar to posting to the wall. Now, if you want to see the post by our page, you can switch back on this menu to the post by page, and then you're going to see all the posts that um, Paw Dogs has actually made. So there's... And then once you scroll down, you do get this little shortcut menu up top also. There's unfortunately currently not an option that's uh, a view all. Like there was in the past, that was just the default where, it could, where you could see everything, um, post by page and post by others. There's currently not that option. So, And also, now when you come to the page, this continually defaults back to highlights. So every time you visit, it comes back to highlights. So you just have to remember to come to this little menu when you want to see the posts that everyone else has made and pop down to the posts by others. And then if you want to see the post that Paw Dogs has made, you have to switch over to the post by page. So you, you kind of have to juggle back and forth on those two to be able to see everything. So... Uh, that's probably the main most important thing to that you need to know to be able to not miss posts and to be able to see everything that's going on in our page. Uh, the next thing, the next most important thing so that you're not missing content is, I'm going to show you right now. I'm scrolling down and we're going through just a handful of posts there. Um, what do we have about, uh, we just looked at about a dozen posts or so. And then as we scroll down here, there is this little gap in the page. This is very easy to scroll past. Um, and all of a sudden, we're looking at posts here from about two weeks ago, back in earlier February. 
And what you need to be aware of is it says February here. This is not a button. That's nothing you can click on. But where it says see more recent stories, that is actually a button that you do need to click on to expand the timeline and see additional recent stories. So even to just see posts from a day ago, I need to click on that button to expand it and see about another day or so worth of posts, depending on how many posts that we've uh, we've made recently. Uh, that could be even less than a day or it could be two days worth. And then once again, I scroll down a little bit. I've, I've seen about two days worth of uh, posts here. And I, again, if I scroll past this, if I just keep scrolling down, I see all these older posts. If I want to see more recent ones, I once again have to make sure to click that button. So uh, as you're scrolling down on the page and you're looking at posts from even the last day or two, you're going to have to be aware that this button is here and that you're going to have to click that to be able to see uh, all the posts. Otherwise, you're going to just uh, end up seeing the very most recent ones and you're going to skip right past uh, the hidden um, collapsed posts if you skip this button and you're going to see the older ones. So uh, basically those are the most important things that you need to know about timeline to be able to see all the posts. If you are, you keep in mind this menu up top where you, when you come to our page to select the post by page or the post by others so you can see the post that you want to see. And then you keep in mind that button I just showed you at the bottom to expand on anything more than the very most recent post. Then you should be able to see all of the posts just like you had in the past. You'll be able to see everything, the posts from the public and the posts that we made. It's just that they're not combined anymore by default. You have to come here and uh, select which one you want. I'm really hoping that Facebook changes this and gives us an option to show all like they did in the past, but currently there's no way for us to do that. So we, uh, that's why I made this little tutorial to show you how you can switch back and forth and uh, see everything on the page. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to uh, uh, leave a, a question here in the comments or uh, get in touch with me and I'll be happy to do my best to help you out. Uh, thanks so much. Bye.